So today I'm going to talk about how people focus so much on other people's businesses and not their own. And that just doesn't happen in, uh, in business, it happens in life, in their personal lives. But I'll, once again, I always tell a story of something that I've experienced, something that I've gone through. Because um, once again, it doesn't help I tell other people's stories. I need to tell my own story, which uh, I know how it starts and how it ends. So, my story goes as follows. Oh yeah, before we carry on, don't forget if you're enjoying our clips and that, please don't forget to subscribe, press like, share. Um, so that we can continue this journey together telling you the stories and hopefully there will be one that can help you if not that's fine maybe there's somebody else that we can help along the way we'll become friends we in, might end up doing business together we don't know what will the future bring and if it does nothing it's okay uh, at the end of the day you know, all we're trying to do is tell our story and see if we can help anybody that's maybe in a situation that they just need help. So, the story goes as follows. So, I lived in a very small town in the Free State, a farming community town by the name of Webstadt, and many, many, many years ago. And uh, in any case, so the story is as follows. My dad ended up going there and opening up a cafe. So we're talking about a story now 40 years ago and um, we arrived in this town and in that town there was already another uh, uh, cafe uh, by the name of Lunchbox that was the people called. It was a Greek family so at the end of the day we were two Greek families living in this town and uh, eventually uh, you know, I ended up going to school, to boarding school. They were going to boarding school. Um, and um, as the years went by, my dad went from a cafe. They had a cafe. Eventually, they ended up getting to a supermarket. I think at that time it was called Centra. And we went from a cafe and we also joined a group. And um, at that time... Um, you know the parents were running the businesses and that's how it was and as kids we would come home and we would work in the stores now why I'm telling you the story is and you will understand where I'm going with the story is that sometimes you get so focused on your competitor that you're not focusing on yourself and you will see how the story goes and how it ends and um, as the years went by um, you know they finished school, we eventually ended up finished school. They, they were three brothers by the name of Stoli Mikalakis, Kyriakos Mikalakis and Mike Mikalakis. Now I always like to mention names, I always like to mention areas so that you know that there's truth to the stories. And uh, I had a brother by the name of Johnny and it was myself. So I ended up in the shop. Out of those brothers, there were two brothers that ended up in the shop and that was Stoli Mikalakis and Kyriakos Mikalakis. So, as the years went on, um, we went from cafes to supermarket as the youngsters came in and we built that. But they ran their business, we ran our business. And yes, we tried to give the best service, they tried to give their best service. But we never focused so much on their business and they focused on my business that we ended up not looking at our own business. So what I'm trying to say is we focused on our business and... Um, I think it was more than 40 years to this day. I can't remember one fight that we maybe had as competitors. Um, we were hard against each other. Um, there were times when, um, you know, uh, we would maybe run out of stock or whatever, or they would run out. We would help one another. But at the end of the day, we each looked after our own business. I was not interested in what they were doing. Yes, I was always looking that I'm on top of my business, but that didn't become my focus. And that didn't become their focus either. So what I'm saying is that if you focus so much on your competitor, you actually take the ball off your own business. And it happens so often. I hear people just telling me constantly about their competitor, competitor, and they're never telling me about their business. What are they doing in their business? How are they gonna get their business right? I mean, you know, 
one thing I've learned is if you look after your clients and you're giving service and you're hearing what your clients want, you will succeed. I mean, we looked after our clients, they looked after their clients. And how did we end up maybe taking one of their clients or they took one of our clients is when we dropped the ball. So dropping the ball is when you're not looking after your clients or when you're not having the right stock or when your pricing is out. So what I'm saying is if you're focusing on your business and you're looking after your clients and you're giving value and you're giving service, you don't need to focus so much on your competitor. You need to know what's happening with your competitor, but that should never become your focus. Your focus is your client. You look after your client, you give the service, and you deliver value to them. You on a winning role. And that's what happens in so many businesses, in so many things. People become so focused on the competitor that they actually take the ball off their own business, and that's how they end up, you know, getting one hiding after another. And like I say, you know, as the years went by, I think we were competitors for about just over 17 years. And over those years, we never once, um, you know, had a fight um, or have hard feelings towards one another. We were aggressive to one another, very aggressive. I could remember the days, you know, we would stand outside our stores and we would close those days at eight o'clock. I mean, we would wave at each other and it was eight o'clock and we would say, you know, we're closing. That's, that, that is how we built the relationship. But we never made it about, I want to close you down, you want to close me down. So many people want to destroy people that they end up destroying themselves. It was never the whole thing. Our thing was we wanted to look after our business. We wanted to grow our turnover. They wanted to do the same. And that is how we focused. And, you know, today... Um, you know, over the years, we've become best friends. And um, I must be honest with you, you know, my relationship with Stolly has, has been there for well, well over, you know, 45 years. And uh, there were days over those 45 years where I dropped the ball. I knew that he was there. I could pick up the phone. Um, and that is the type of relationship that, that was built over those years. Because once again, I focused on my own business. They focused on their own business. It wasn't about trying to destroy each other. You know, when you hear people saying, I want to destroy that, but there's so much hatred in that. There's so much, they take their eye off the ball. That was never part of it. And I mean, today they've become, you know, successful people. I mean, they went from being a, a cafe to a center, from a center to becoming a spa, from a spa, becoming a pick and pay. I mean, these guys just grew their business. I mean, that is a business that has been 50 years plus offering service. You know, whenever I go to visit them, I look at people, that, um, you know, because we have left since those days. I mean, how people that they were serving and have maybe passed away or have become old and retired and now they're serving their children and those children's children. I mean, that's that's the legacy of that type of a, a business. I mean, it's a 50 year plus. I mean, it's a, you know, so ever you in the area, go there, have a look at these guys, ask them their story, you know, wonderful people. And uh, they can also tell you a story, how they started from Kathy ended up becoming a pick and pay uh, but again it was about value and I'm saying it again be careful that you don't get so focused in the hatred of trying to close your competitor trying to know too much of their own business where you take the eye off your own business concentrate on your own business give value look after your clients and you will win some people end up getting to such a price war that the only person who wins at the end of the day is the customer nobody else wins because there's a saying, you cut your nose to spoil your face. Don't need to do that. Focus on your own business. At the end of the day, have your pricing, have your specials, have the value that you offer, but you don't need to end up always in a price war, that you make no money, that there's so much hatred out there that you are consumed by trying to close down people and you want to uh, you know, hurt people that eventually it clouds you from what you're trying to really achieve value look after your clients your clients will look after you because they will support you give service i remember that when we used to go and a client would come in you would ask hi how are you you know um how's your day you know them you'd actually know if they they needed something and they didn't find it the last time that you've got it that is how you actually grow your business concentrate on your clients and you will achieve and like i say you don't have to end up with hatred and fighting and that i mean yes two competitors 
two competitors and I mean we're talking 45 years ago and today we still remain best friends my brother is actually best friends with the one brother that's uh, not in the supermarket but I mean that is a type of friendship so what I am saying is um, I used to love playing chess the other brother great chess player we used to compete against each other in chess you know so we used all that energy to create a friendship, to compete, but we never made it about hatred. We never made it about trying to close each other down. We made it about each and every one of us concentrating on our business, trying to give value. And at the end of the day, we never actually ended up cutting our nose to spoil our face. Look after your clients, give value. And at the end of the day, your clients will look after you because they will support you. And if you do things for the right reason, you will always succeed. And it happens so much as well in relationships and it happens so much in life. People are so focused on the negativity, on the bad things, that they actually don't look at the good things that are right in front of them. So, like I'm saying, these are stories that have happened to me. These are realities. And I'm saying at the end of the day, you don't have to have hatred. You don't have to have anger. It can work. It can be a win-win situation. Do it for the right reasons. Cheers, everybody. And please subscribe if you're enjoying this. And we will see you on the next clips.